because change is difficult to digest. Yes. <laughs> and you should enhance the digesting process right now. That's a whole idea. Exactly. exactly. Uh, people exactly. are coming with full tummy, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's a whole idea. Now, when everybody comes with full tummy, then everybody becomes uh, an expert in uh, yoga. So if yeah. I don't change management there, can you imagine my level of challenge? <laughs> so you got the right challenge. <laughs> And even more difficult is when we are talking about changes and those people say that, oh God, when is this change going to uh, uh, complete? <laughs> As if change is the only thing which is there. So all said and done, I need to accommodate to all of these kind of transients, right? So how mm -hmm. are we going to ensure that we wade into the waters, difficult waters, turbulent waters, but still ensure that that we've tried to make it as easy as possible to accommodate to the altering environments is all about change management in my humble way of looking at things. Yeah, yeah. And one thing what I would like to say is after I have heard the sessions of uh, Pratibha and uh, Sundar and the introductions by Sharad and Satish, personally, I feel I know nothing. Seriously, now I'm really that, 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 that's your greatness, sir. That's no. how great people start their, you know. <laughs> I'm really wondering how I'm going to make an inch of a difference in change because Pratibha and Yoga Sundar so, spoke so well. They spoke about Scrum and she spoke about enhancing Scrum, and you were giving some pointers. And uh, there were a couple of people here, including Sampath and others, who were giving some feedback. I am wondering, I am just wondering, I hope. There are no rotten tomatoes or eggs there. So that I get bombarded there. Thankfully, it's an online webinar. Okay. So in the first place, before we get into the specific details, let me thank Satish ji, Sharad ji, and all the convening members of this Agile group, Gurus, who have given a small opportunity to a very, very humble fry like me to help understand and learn what agile agility is all about because there are many many very very knowledgeable people in this entire forum i will just try to share whatever i have understood in the entire forum because my way of looking at things is very very short-sighted so i'll just share my short sights on how things are and how we can make a difference in the entire forum and presentation called life so with this i would like to share my screen let me see how i can share the screen here what do I need to do to share my screen? You can use the share screen option, like green color arrow. Oh, okay. Great, great, great. Share. Is my screen visible now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let me now try to hide this window or let me minimize this window. Okay. By the way, so before I begin, let me wish everybody a good morning, good evening and good night and more uh, systematically a good morning. I don't hear any noise sound anywhere, man. Hey, good morning, man. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know the reason why I wanted to choose good morning when it is more or less a handover from the sun towards the lunar constellation. Any idea? Anyone? Why do we wish, why did I wish a good morning when I know for a fact that from the solar constellation, the handover takeover has happened towards the lunar constellation? There's a reason. Uh, this is something which I have learned from my earlier coaches and mentors. They told, if you step into this once upon a time, not once upon a time, they are one of the leading pioneers. I should not say the words are very small. Uh, this company called Toyoto, you have all heard of it, right? Toyoto. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You go into their factory at any time in the day, you go there at 8 p.m., 8 a.m., 9 p.m., 9 a.m. Anytime they come and wish you, they'll wish you good morning. 
In fact, the sizing members of the team, the key members of Scrum Alliance who founded them, or maybe even lean pioneers, and by the way, Toyota was one of the leading members in lean. Toyota and G are founding members of lean and agile principles. For all those who are aware or not aware of it, I just like to reiterate. They went and checked and when they asked, why are you wishing us a good morning? They told, Array, good morning is nothing to do with sunrise or sunset. Let us split the words. It is good, more earning. So I wish you a good morning because I want you to have more earning. Earning can be in terms of money. Earning can be in terms of knowledge. Earning can be in terms of anything you term good, legal, and something which we all profit to understand and carry home once the system is discussion is over. So when I say good morning, it's that I wish you so much of goodness that the circle of goodness itself will repeat and it comes back to me. This is what we call in the doctrine of karma, right? As we saw social you read. So I'm not going to get into the details of Navagrahas and how the constellations and how the other the planetary aspects are involved because there is far, far too much of agility in the entire scope there. And 45 minutes of time is by and large too less for us to talk about it. However, we will try to force fit or try to transmit whatever we have understood the entire sequence of agility to ensure that we embrace something called as change for a progressive future. The reason being, if I resist change, the divinity of change is not going to listen because time, tide, and gender, neutral, masculine and feminine, wait for no person. It just carries on. It just moves on. You like it, you don't like it, it's just not bothered. It has to happen, I have to move on. So with that introduction in mind, it is now time to free ourselves from a traditional mindset to think that I know everything towards a newer energy paradigm which says, let us learn. Are we all now in alignment before we get to the next slide? Yes, yes sir. Please let me know if you're all feeling very dull and bored about this. No, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah, good to go. Good. So let's now enter into understanding what is this whole thing all about. From your lone ranger in the front, they say that I have won the race. Fine. So what? To see the next team, the perennial winning team, we have won the race. There's a world of a difference, right? From I to we. This I is good. I have done, I have been a good contributor. I'm an individual role player. All of that is fine. But from a leadership vantage point, this I as a term does not really impress too much upon the key decision makers because it's good that you have done, but how many of the people have below you, have you taken forward so that when the next initiative organization is to entrust the next set of responsibilities to you, you are still doing the same old thing which we have been doing 20 years on back. So that Delta is all about understanding how I can transition, adopt, and eventually transform myself from that lone ranger in the front to this perennial winning team with which the I is also included. I am part of the team. The team includes I. I am part. It is a mutually existent consistent. Whereas I and I are just singular, exclusive terms. A team is a group and it also includes that I. Fair enough? Yes. So this is what I want to talk about that I cube, E cube factor where we have all genes inclined to overcome the I factor. See, talk about any of the knowledge elimination aspects of the great scriptures. It always says, give yourself the last place, which means to say that put your ego behind. If you put that ego in Sanskrit, it is also known as the Aham Bhava. I, I am the person. I can control. Sorry, not even a speck of dust can be controlled I myself. I cannot control when I can drink water. It should be just the thirst that manifests. I cannot con control when I feel thirsty. It's a self-organized immune system in the body, which means to say that when we talk about a term, term called self-organization, the automatic entity of the term called agile is inbuilt in the human system. Because the self-organization is there in the human system or in any creation of a lively system, the system becomes agile. Right? So now let's get back here. 
all genes inclined to overcome the I factor, the Ahambhava factor, thereby lessening the ego factor of an individual entity towards, well, let us understand the gravitating here. All goals to involve, you need to involve a person, imbibe, take home the principle and incorporate. Ensure that you follow it religiously in your life, whether I sit, stand, or breathe, or drink water, or do whatever is something in my life, unless I start practicing it, you will find it extremely difficult to practice this aspect in your workplaces and in office places. It is my humble opinion that what you practice at home manifests itself in some form or the other in the office. It has to, because we humans are not programmed like robots to act in different situations differently. There is always that inner thought which will manifest itself in some time. So it always pays to understand what is a good point of it so that if there is something good I learn at home, I take it to the office. There is a saying in English, right? What manifests itself in the cradle will manifest itself until the last second in the graveyard. So that delta, it could be less, it could be more. But that increment will always be there. So if it is good, let us try to take it. If it is not so good, let us try to drop it. It's like technical debt. We try to refactor our lives until such time life is there. Let us try to refactor our backlog so that when I am seeing a different backlog, that backlog as such becomes clean and clear. Is this approach clear or do you think somewhere we need to put the brakes? Or is it too light a topic post dinner? We got a clearance from participants. Participants will have to tell me. Participants are our customers. Yes, yes. That, that's what I mentioned, sir. <coughs> In the chat, we got the clearance. Is king, customer is king. <laughs> All fine? Yes. 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 Great. Something good? Fair enough. If you feel it is good, I am happy. It's a Kasi. Look, I'm going to talk about this concept of chain reaction here because then and there itself, I take feedback. It's not about taking feedback, it is about understanding customer collaboration over a contract negotiation where I get into the judgmental thought that Seshadri is going to talk about something in change. But then we talk about this change, then we are actually incorporating line item two of Agile Manifesto. And how do I get line manifesto? I try to bring in line item one individuals and interactions over processes and tools. I am trying to do this virtually and Sharad and Satish and the team behind this are the facilitators who are enabling this process. So when we start doing that, processes and tools are facilitating the individuals and interactions. Right? Now let us see how the third line item comes into picture. Well, that's a quick snapshot about myself. By the way, for those of you who may be interested, this was my presentation done in the Scrum Alliance way back in 2017. You can just type it. You go to Scrum Alliance and just type this. You'll be able to see the entire video presentation which I've given in Scrum Alliance. And in the interest of the entire knowledge Agile Guru session, I thought it would make a good session for us to incorporate, share, and imbibe the thoughts. Because over time, even I myself would have forgotten what is this I cube, L cube factor. So let me try to understand. And I also learn and I also try to give back to the session. That's about myself. I am working with one of the big four conglomerates, which is KPMG. I am actually an agile mentor and a scrum master for one of the oil and natural gas p and considerations from the European and Scandinavian geographies. And I have been doing all these kind of roles in the past as a PMO mentor, a coach, and a training facilitator for multiple topics, which would include project management professional, PMI's agile certified practitioner. I've also facilitated some sessions on business requirements analysis, scheduling techniques, enterprise risk management, programming and portfolio, program and portfolio governance and execution. And one of my key takeaways in the session is about the art of stakeholder engagement and not management, which will ensure a longevity the line of business we are all executing. We'll understand that it's time to come here. Okay. Now we are going to get into a very, very quick energizing activity. All of us, we need one sheet of paper, a pen or a pencil. Ready? 
Give right? us one minute. Give us one minute, sir. One minute is your time box. Sixty seconds. Five fingers. Right. Five fingers. That's a palm of someone's hand. Let's not get into palmistry. Palmistry are different ajayi signs altogether. I'm not going to talk about that here. Are all the five fingers of the hand equal? No. I think our hands would be a wonderful hand if all the five fingers are equal. No. No. Each finger represents different entities or the five forces of nature. The five forces are actually self-organizing entities of nature. The bhumi or the earth, the vayu or the wind, the prithvi or the mountains. Which is again a representation of Bhumi, the sky or Akasha, and Varuna or the water, and the existential limits, which is a continuum called as space. These five entities are self-organizing entities. Nobody can enforce any dictates. Nobody can try to dictate how it has to work. It will do its job. It will continue to be self-organized till such time its life is around. So when we talk about cross-functional self-organizing themes, it's already there in nature. That's a message. Okay. Okay. Right. So the message is very, very clear. Everyone has come into this universe. Everyone has come into this world with a different product backlog. <coughs> get into this product backlog story or whatever. Everybody says that agile, agile. What is this product backlog actually? What do I mean by product backlog? Anyone? La laundry list of items that needs to be developed as part of the particular product. Organization of requirements. Okay. It can be anything, right? APIs, product backlog items, debt stories, bugs, defects, fixes, something which I think. Will be. Okay. Basically, it is nothing but your requirements charter, which is prioritized basis the time, right? Now, what do I mean by requirement? Can I talk about this fact that a requirement is nothing but a conditional clause set by any given customer, which has an acceptable time frame for execution and which has a definite deliverable which time to come, right? It's acceptable clause set by a customer, which is definitely time bound, which has a definite measured outcome and which has a measured deliverable. Can I all say that we were all created in this world because there was some requirement set by someone. I was created because I had, there was a requirement which the almighty felt. You are all created because of the requirements, right? So now does this give an understanding that everybody, everyone in this team, every universe, living, non-living, anything and everything, right from the invisible plankton to the immense, immense, not immeasurable measure of the entire entity which we call as abhyaya or immeasurable formula shapeless i'm not going to get into that that's that's an entirely different concept as a line item of a product backlog so anyone and everyone anything and everything has a capacity to add to the adoption transition and transformation journey this has to be somehow knit to ensure that everybody in the stakeholder community is benefited it is just say, I'm just going back to slide number two. It is not me. It is the entire winning team. Clear, friends? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Or yeah. all of you in deep yoga. Shabha, sir. All fine? Yes. Okay. yes. This is the agenda. What is the obligation for transformation? Why should I transform myself? What is a dilemma? What do we mean by change? What are some common impediments? What do you call so much as an agile mindset? Now the next question that can run in your mind is, are we going to complete all of this within this time? We will see that. Don't worry. Let us try to prioritize, accept or drop whatever it is. Let us talk about this. This is the first, first PBI which we are going to talk about. This is a nine dot iteration. Okay. There are nine dots in this picture. I am going to write a user story. As your customer, 
I want my team to connect all the nine dots using just four lines without lifting your hands off the paper. Acceptance criteria. No overwriting. No overlapping. And the measurement is the time boxes 60 plus 60, which is 120 seconds. Your time starts. Sorry. Your time starts. Now, 924 will freeze. Sharad, you are okay, right? Sharad and Satish. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I already yes. started. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes, sir. 120 seconds, sir. After that, customers going to measure the deliverables. Nine dots, four lines without lifting the hands. No overdrawing. In the sense, a line once drawn should not be rewritten. That is unaccepted. Customer will reject a deliverable. He will put a penalty. All going well? Yes, I am able to do it. Huh? I am able to do it. Then you are a champion, man. Those who, are able, those who are able to do it should not tell the others how they have done it because we need to first understand an individual psych. Let them brainstorm, group discuss. We will talk about the techniques of requirements analysis here. So I need to touch all the dots, right? It can be initiated. All the nine dots without overlapping the lines. In other words, if I draw one line, I should not draw the other line again. No overwriting the line. Yeah. So what is the time? Oh, we are almost there. So when it is going to be 50, we will freeze the work. 33. We are nearing the hour. We are upping the heart. We'll give you time until 50. 8, 9, 10. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. You have to give your answer sheets. Otherwise, no scoring of papers, man. Let's get to the, get to the student mentality. Okay? You can see. Sorry, I am a bit old, man. I cannot see things. Is it looking or looking blurry? For you. I guess a very blurry paper. No, it's a very, uh, very blurry, Shara. Don't worry, we will evaluate the answers. Okay. So, shall we see the steps? Some of the patterns. I'm sure our friends would have tried all these things. Yes, no? I did all the yes. patterns I go beyond <laughs> four lines. All of them tried this, right? Yes. yes. These are all requirements, correct? Shall we see the correct requirements? Yeah. I told you that mm. you connect nine dots with four lines. That was my requirement. Did I put any restriction saying that the two extra dots at the periphery should not be created? Did I put a restriction or an incision on the extension point? I did not tell that. It's like telling. But a small doubt. Yes, Don't please. you call this as a scope creep from the project management perspective? Sorry? We call it as a scope creep or gold they plating. Say that right? You should not do this. I want my outcome. Mm -hmm. It has to be done. No overlapping of lines. Let us talk about scope creep later. My aim sure. is to connect four dots. No, sorry, nine dots. And back borrow steel, I wanted it done. If the customer is putting these nine dots in the system, running it, the potential shippable increment should be ready in production.
<laughs> I would have asked a lot of questions and conditions <laughs> behind when this, uh, you know, as part of the requirement, basically, rather than doing this. But I'm coming to that. I know what the next questions will be. Yes. Let's dwell on this slide. It's a very important slide. Don't you think these are all valid problems? Valid challenges. I would not say problems. Don't you think these are all valid challenges? How many of them actually studied the problem? I'm sure many of us would have taken the paper and dived into the situation. Come on, man, let's get this done and throw it out. How many of us actually sat down with a possible solution? I am sure one out of 10 would have done that or two out of 10 would have done that. The actual scoring criteria when it was done by Harvard University was PhDs failed in this test. A second standard student actually did it within 10 seconds. What's the bottom line? Education ruins our thinking process. I would not say like that. Education not properly applied in the right direction kills the thinking. Why am I saying this? There was other day where a friend of mine was telling me that Sishadri, you know what? I am applying for a job in a company. They are saying that the first acceptance criteria is you should have 25 lines of certification. I asked, what do you want to do? No, no, no. They are asking the HR saying 25 lines of certification. That otherwise they won't consider my profile. I'm asking what kind of no, no, no. They, they want 25 lines of certification. Are yaar, apko kya that is a no, no, 25 lines. So you know what? Without actually understanding what you want in life, I'm just saying 25 lines of certification, this, that, ABC, BBC, CBC, BBC. The point is our focus tends to go elsewhere. When we were supposed to do something, we were gravitated elsewhere. And finally, we are having to apply Olympian force to bring us back to the parent consideration. Don't you think this is a perennial problem which we have faced at, at least one point in time? I face this multiple times. I'll be shameless. I'll be skinless. I'll be shameless here. I have done this problem multiple times. So I have actually written what I felt was the challenge. Don't you think all of us have been through this at, at least once in your lives? And many of us were telling that two yes. dots were scope creep. They were actually outliers. But that was the actual solution to the pointer. In other words, that is a fine print. It an acceptance criteria. Read between lines. This is where we talk about something called as the out of the box thinking pattern. See, the question is not just confined to that nine, the nine dots. It is about understanding how are we actually addressing the problem? Are we just looking at requirements correct or correct requirements? That's the entire focus of the session. Are we all clear on this before we move on to the next slide? Yep. Yes, no? Sharad, Satish, others? Yes. Yeah, great, sir. Let's, yes. let's move on. Yeah. Great. Now, this is my million rupee. Now, today, rupee has assumed huge proportions of transaction, right? Gone are the days of MasterCard and Visa. Slowly they are diminishing because their timeline is over. Something has to come. That's how the Kala Chakra is rotating its you way in the entire universe, right? They don't wait for anything. Something has to usher and change. It has to happen through some person, entity, or whatever. But the point is, it has to happen. Will technology transformation make my industry relevant? Very good question. Once upon a time, we were wondering, oh God, if I learn computers, what will happen to me? Can you tell me anything in this world which is not happening without a computer today? You get it? Will investment in R&D or correct investment in R&D? Why should I transform my business? This is how I've been doing business all these years. I was happy. My customers were happy. They really were fine with my outcome. Why should I change today? How is it my competitors? He's not even a six hundred guy. He does not even know what is a 10 standard, but he's able to provide solutions at such a low cost. What should I do? Is he, is he going to sound my end? My customers are always happy with me, man. They will never question me. 
but when they see the competitor giving such fantastic features such as the throw away price that's the end of it my shop is headed for a shutter down so will agile and agile techniques make my position irrelevant these are all so many questions which keep running i've just put the top questions the remaining acceptance criteria or the finer print is if it is not broke if it is not if it is perfectly fine do something to ensure that it delivers better value don't say that i will do it just do it exactly are we delivering what our customer wants or are we trying to deliver what a customer wants there's a fine difference right there's a difference between dealing with customers and customer dealings dealing with defense and defense dealings english is a funny language right dealing with defense and defense dealings dealing with customers and customer dealings are we delivering value if i am not delivering value probably the customer could be happy for 15 years the 16th year he'll put us in resume in his no great i am done after 16 years where am i going to find another customer i would have sunk so much of investment here and it becomes extremely difficult for me to revamp myself that is the challenge and organizations bloated are now trying to revamp themselves trying to ensure that they give economical solutions at a lower price which is one point second thing is how can i give value hanging at a low hanging price right before i get into this yep. are you fine with this right so yes. nowadays uh, unicorns are really challenging the you know big orgs right top top organizations sorry i didn't get you sir nowadays unicorns unicorns exactly that's exactly what i'm telling yeah. a chota mota panchvi targati ka pass nahi hua he is coming and dictating my presence will i be existent tomorrow you will not know how the change deva will come in which form did he put a address saying that i will come only in this form that is a greatness of change nobody knows when that change will happen and the other dictat here is change is ordained by the kala chakra and change as a factor is assured in our solar system because of the navagrahas they are only the agents of change actual change is decided elsewhere they are only carrying out orders based on our product backlogs individual product backlogs okay so now let's talk about the entire chakra from a kala chakra as manifestation of a smaller chakra this is a wheel right what wheel is it a cart wheel by the way what do we see there on to on to the next one it's an undercarriage of an aircraft it's a wheel no na can i put this cart wheel for the undercarriage of an aircraft will it be possible mm, maybe with the change the change no will it serve the purpose i am putting a cart wheel all that the customer wants is a wheel shall i put this cart wheel for the undercarriage of an aircraft no it may not um, carry the load hmm. it will crash the customer system <laughs> and a customer is going to bring a bring a big big document called as the legal charter document and then hefty fines are going to be there that is where requirements correct versus correct requirements okay fine chodo let's not talk about the undercarriage of an aircraft this is a glider in the glider can we put this cart wheel so no. the, mes the message that is being given here is just because it is serving the purpose of a wheel need not imply it is going to fit something that is similar to a wheel we read about a topic called similar triangles way back in 600 or 700 a similar triangle implies that the ratio of the two sides are either are similar they have a number but they are under no means identical it's similar it's just a wheel but then the wheel need not fit the purpose for which it is created right so with this let us next look at the next possibility we were all very very happy with this hurricane lamp once upon a time then tesla edison there's still a controversy going on i'm not going to get into that they came with this light bulb tungsten filament bulb fantastic invention right the light bulb was a fantastic invention tell me where all are we seeing this filament bulb today 
very very rare why it's giving light right we want light and it's giving light the purpose is to give light right we need a bright light with the cost of uh, uh, friendliness to the environment economies now we do see the economies of scale coming into picture why do you think unicorns are propped up why do you think unicorns are mushroom it is somewhere to note that the budgets have started bleeding in organizations that these people have seized the opportunity don't blame them they have seen what is a possible opportunity and they have entered it the deal should have that we should have arrested these changes there came this filament bulb today this uh, neon filament bulb is it there anywhere other than few places we only see led lamps why it is a rule of change it has to happen and let's see the next picture alexanders graham bells hello phone vintage phone where is this even central government offices do not have these phones you all agree with me right yes epbx next phone epax facility how many of us really completely have this facility now epbx facilities now this phone ip phone other than specific requirements this phone is not used because there's a high carrier cost attached to a second phone the third thing i am not going to say anything all of us are fully aware of it tell me who is not aware of the third phone the transparent phone have you all heard of it guys at least not me okay that was a phone which was designed and released by apple it was called as a transparent phone it was released as a prototype and because it did not get much traction they changed the prototype so many people say that apple 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 someone why not they talk about mango that we will see here the change rule have we have spoken about this at length change is the only thing that is constant it ruled it shall rule and it shall continue to rule i came i saw i can't go it finished deal over and the rule of change is a perennial rule of time no negotiations it is like talking to a management or perhaps talking to the better sex the rules are non negotiable either i say yes or i agree the third option doesn't exist fair enough have you ever tried to argue with the better sex how many of us were able to negotiate are you guys are we all awake sometimes i feel i am i am talking to myself no no we are uh, no no we are <laughs> here <laughs> or if you are all if they are at least we are all going to yoga tell me man how oh, we are here enjoying it <laughs> okay great 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 how many of us have actually tried to argue with the spouse community and how many of them really succeeded look at point number 2 last line no negotiations i want it done done <laughs> learn that <laughs> learned that here your office leadership discussions will be absolutely a breeze because there's no change change as a rule first you accept change willingly and i'm coming to that you accept change willingly because willingness is always better unwillingness will create lot of distress oh man i'm supposed to listen to this person you go home you have to listen to the same person at home at office can you argue you you do you better like it or you'll be forced to like it slowly imbibe the change and become a proponent change is always for the better because better things come in lack of acceptance to the fact that change is for the better is the biggest problem in the world how many of people don't agree with this lack of at least with this session everyone will agree sorry i think at least with this session everyone will agree oh so this is session agnostic is it i don't know that man so in the session everybody will accept after that they'll go back to the old ages is it don't tell that man 
Okay. Uh, what I mean is change needs to be accepted every day. Change otherwise, has to be accepted. Do we really have a choice? Yeah. Otherwise, things will perish. Because change eventually. will simply change you. You don't accept change. Change will change you. It's as simple as that. Look at two entities. One is the person who is a change thinker. And look at the other person who is trying to avoid the change. He is what you call as a change resistor. And a change resistor, if I am able to bring in a change evangelist, he is the person who is going to help catch dacoits and thieves because he was a thief himself previously. A hacker will be able to be the best person to help trap cyber piracy. How many of you accept or reject this? Accept. Yes. Nobody else knows about the weakness of the system other than the hacker himself or herself. This is why we call it as ethical hacking. At least you teach me what are the pitfalls in my system. I'll foolproof my system, right? Converting the system. Now let us talk about the emotional intelligence factor. What are the changes? I was a vendor man. I was just supplying people to my office staff. We call it as a very, very small term body shopping. Sometimes they say it's a staff augmentation to a business partner, which is more likely a good term, right? You make it make something what we call as a good feel good factor. If I don't feel good about myself, how will I create an environment which is going to feel good, right? It is the second point is about from my profits to our profits. From my victory to our victory, the customers and we ourselves. And the third and the changes below, I'm sure we all agree. Those of you who don't agree, please raise your hands here virtually. From a parent provider to an empty nest, it's a very, very painful change. Yes, no, maybe. Parent provider to an empty nest, right? Very, very painful change. But can you avoid that? Or baby eagles created only to be sitting in the nest? Even if the eagle is 15 feet tall, will the baby eagle, which is 15 feet tall, now be able to sit in a nest? It's meant for something different. It's a lot of the skies. It has to cruise. So the point is the, the, the father eagle and the mother eagle cannot say that my baby eagle has flown away. Array, that's a rule of life. It has to start its place in the circle called life. Have you all seen the Lion King? How many of us have not seen the Lion King? I have seen it. There was one term in which the father Mufasa spoke from the heavens. It says, Sumba, you have let me down. You should take up your place in the circle and the world called life. Your place is empty. You are defaulting by not doing your duties. Right or otherwise, you have to fight for it and take your circle in life in the place called life. That is what we talk about. A transformational change where I was a father I become a father-in-law, a mother, a mother-in-law, a daughter to a daughter-in-law, last but not the least. Yes, no, maybe. The whole deal from the last time is to ensure that if I am a son-in-law, I should not become a son outlaw. Otherwise, my spouse will neither forgive nor forget. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. You all agree with me? Yes. Never ever become a son outlaw. Otherwise, your better half will neither forgive nor forget. You all agree with me? Yes. I'm yep. seeing very low response, man. Dinner has made you all uh, put you to yoga, is it? You are all good, sir. No, actually, sometimes you are putting in a spot. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I minimize my window, so I cannot see who is actually talking. That's the whole point. And actually, Sampath is my business representative. So I can make out this voice, but the other voices I cannot represent. I cannot realize. That's why I'm having to rephrase the question again and again. Okay. Now, let's talk about some common impediments. The I factor. If I don't change, how can I bring in change? See, talk about this I, this I, 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 I starts growing to such 
Olympic proportions that it starts clouding and thinking that I am the ruler, I know everything. And the minute that thought process comes in, kalas, that's the end of story. Because there is something bigger than the I, which is I square. Right? They are your stakeholders, your existing business processes, your official practices, and the stakeholder, the customer mindsets, which need to alter, if not tomorrow, at least the day after tomorrow. Failing which, it's not going to launch. The vehicle is not going to, the air aircraft is not going to take up the drawing board. We, how long can you keep on drawing aircraft? It has to launch somewhere, right? It cannot be a prototype forever. And that's exact. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. So sometimes compromising official personal discussion, okay, Are if this requirement cannot be done, no, at least let us get done this in iteration two or iteration three. I can do that. Let us convince, let us negotiate. It could be difficult because everybody says, I want everything every time at every instant, but humanly and mortal frame of time, it is not possible. So somewhere let us try to negotiate. And that's where, how I am saying, there's a small caption in which uh, an astrologer, a palmist went to a rich person's place and he saw his hand and says, oh man, everybody will die in your house. You'll be the person sitting all alone in your house. This guy went inside, took a broomstick and trashed his astrologer left, right and sound and he came running out. Then he saw a court minister coming and this court minister asked him, why are you running? That man is hitting me with his broomstick. He asked, what happened? He says, I showed his hand. I told him the truth. And in his ministry, you are such a big Buddha man. Tell the truth, but make it pleasant. The next day, he says, do this. He disguised himself as another very learned person and says, what a wonderful astrology and horoscope you have. You will be the longest one to live in your family. And then, oh man, yesterday, the other, uh, he used a wretched term. No, no, forget this. Why use inauspicious, inauspicious words? I will give you 100 gold coins. Go have a nice time. So the way you say and the way you communicate and the way you deliver and the way I say yes, the way I say no, have a lot of semblance in what I'm going to deliver. It is not about language. It's about body language. It's all about the way I'm communicating. Let me take a pass here. I also need to take a breath. Are we all fine here until now? That's true. That's true. I totally agree with uh, it all depends upon how we are conveying the same message but the way we use the words the way we exactly the sentences yes I it hope all it matters a very boring session by the way <laughs> not at all not at all i'm taking can i time. just can i contradict to the other uh, 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 the before statement saying it see the first person the palmist has given a reply which is very much clear in thoughts the person who's receiving it the second mm. person, he twisted. I understand the outcome was same. The person who is receiving it is a bit confused. He didn't even understand, like, no, his family would leave him early. So I'll give you the answer, Sampath. The first person in basic English from Brennan Martin told in active voice. The second instance, he told in passive voice. Katam. But isn't it the person who's receiving uh, re uh, at the receiving end? He didn't get it properly. That is exactly the challenge. I'm coming to that topic here. Communication. Did you see that? I'm coming to that. That's exactly the topic is all about. The manager's metaphors versus before becoming a leader. So 85 to 90 percent of the time we are communicating. In fact, communications are and right now we are communicating virtually. And communication is something that is input right from the time we are born till the time we leave this world. We are communicating in some form or the other. And what the whole point is all about, how are we communicating? I come up to our, am I just communic connecting with you just to sell some God for second product or do I really value your relationship? Do I really look at the problem statement from your perspective or is it only from my, my think that the customer is wrong to hell with the customer? Do I acknowledge my customer's discomfort saying that no, 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 he's invested so much of money. Let us try to reason out with him so that he does not feel the pain in his journey. The point here is I am not an expert, but I will definitely share the pain so that over time we will become experts and as a period we will gain that adverb called expertise. When all of us win, the customer wins. When all of us lose, the customer is lose. The weakness of the chain is actually in the link, which is weak. So does it mean to say that the chain is faulty? No, it is that link which is weak.
that's the reason where we say that teamwork if one person in an agile project fails the entire team collectively fails because we did not spot that failure well in advance and this change journey is tough really tough but when we are sharing hands many hands make light work fair enough yes yes we have just got 5 minutes of our time to get done with this what is a sharp head corollary have you all seen a sharp arrow any time have you all seen a sharp arrow any time yes no not in person but in movies <laughs> you have at least read about it right yes. have you seen a bullet train any time at, at least in pictures yes yes a bullet train is actually traveling much greater than the speed of sound so when it is actually that speed of sound is what you call as a mark number i am not going to get into the science of a mark number that is not the intent of the session but when it is traveling at a huge mark number it creates what you call as a sonic boom which is exactly the reason why the military aircraft takes off it creates a huge sound that it flies at two and a half times the speed of sound or three times the speed of sound so we call it as three mark four mark or whatever now that being said and done when it creates a sonic boom your ear drums or the sensory hearing uh, uh, organs or the utilities perish it bursts open do you know what nature has done to overcome this any idea i just read about it today morning is it a all... ear cannot take the frequency <clears throat> i'll tell you that have you all seen humble do don't tell me have you heard of this word called kingfisher i'm not talking about the convicted person there have you at least heard of the word called kingfisher yes okay and the other birds fish and the kingfisher fishes do you know how it fishes i've shared this in my linkedin and in my facebook please do subscribe and take a look at that the kingfisher is the only bird which completely skyrockets deep into the water finds its prey and then shoots out because it has gone skyrockets quickly and comes out it is able to overcome the turbulence of the fluid water around it and it comes out with less effort the same thing increases focus if the acceptance criteria is clear enough if the, the requirements are clear enough the team will definitely be able to deliver more and more magic i have seen high performing teams they have achieved the impossible why did they do some mantra no they got clarity in what they did and the minute i have clarity in what i am doing the outcome will definitely be obvious because i know for what i am talking for what i am doing but if i do not know are i am supposed to talk so i am talking then that itself is a defeatist attitude and if a defeatist attitude is encountered will the outcome be ever clear will the outcome be clear if i am encountering a defeatist attitude no yes now let's look at this we have a laser focus target we have a bow we have an arrow course correction let's look at arjuna the legendary warrior in the mahabharata archery just aiming does not mean success you have to aim it repeatability what is the main focus of quality and repeatability generating multiple outcomes having consistent value patterns is about ensuring that high performance teams deliver high value consistently sequentially and sustainably over a long period of time <coughs> value delivered in one iteration is fine but have you then be have they been able to deliver value over 10 or 15 iterations consistently that is an indicator of success so what is that mantra that we will see how many of you disagree with this or agree with this yes no maybe yes yes the maybe. practice session and the failures are actually the retrospectives okay let us actually close this session with a very very small analogy what is the item on the left godrej navtal what is that lock 
What is the one on the right side? Kama. Kama. You call that Atoda, right? Yes. Atoda. Uh, okay. There was an argument between the hammer and the uh, key. The hammer says, "You know how powerful I am. I can break the strongest of Naftal Godrej locks. Talk about durable, safer locks." the vaults whatever i can just break through like anything i am made of the best quality of forged steel do you know that but i'm having a element of doubt you are such a puny guy how is it you are able to break a lock the key laughed and told the hammer you break open a lock man i touch the heart of the lock the lock opens up for itself okay the lock, the hammer then replied it is good to touch the heart man but there are some in, there are some locks which don't open even after they are touched because they are too rusted so the only way for me to is to break open that lock and touching the heart telling this once telling this twice thrice is fine but when the telling this multiple times is not working then i have to use a penitive action this in our sanskrita we call as sama dana beda danda right so it's about using the right techniques to solve the right problems to ensure that the livability and success is actually maintained and seen consistently these are my urls for social media connects that's my youtube channel i speak regularly on project management and uh, success of agile projects so i am done with this so if you have any specific measured questions please consider this as a time to clarify whatever little i know i will share hello <laughs> we are all here you are all there great <laughs> great thank you and we could see the comments like uh, the participants are loving the session and i have not seen anything sir in the comments section sir yes you can oh. see that great man i have not seen anything until now yes we are following we are following <laughs> so working without the results i have not seen the results <laughs> i am just showing karmanyeva adhikaraste mahaleshu kadachana right now by the way this was a session which i presented in scrum alliance and it actually received very good appreciation from the participants there were around 2500 to 3000 people in the session then i never thought my session would be that big seriously at that point in time in fact i thought i knew nothing <laughs> the same even though i was the same situation only that's a different story <laughs> but actually great session sir thank you thank you so much you're so kind as usual sharad and satish <laughs> thank you so much yeah uh, any anyone has any questions IST hours. I think people already got tired. <laughs> EST hours. I think they might be active and they might ask some questions. <laughs> I'll copy my URL here. So those of you who really want to connect or something like that, this will be your uh, first hand. Can that be okay, Sharad ji? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. yeah if if no one has any questions i think uh, this marks the end of our uh, you know first agile meet um, annual meet up so please stay in touch with us we have whatsapp groups we have telegram groups right uh, whichever is convenient for you folks try to join there collaborate among yourself let's try to share something that is meaningful to the community and you know get yourself engaged right that is what Uh, we request from SS Agile Gurus: be active in the community wherever you are. Help, help others, and help yourself. You no, know, one day it will also help you. Right? That But is the yeah. message which we want to. Milestone uh, statement. Yeah. Milestone statement. <laughs> which we want to share with all of you. Thank, thanks everyone once again for joining these sessions, and have a great day. Thanks, thanks to Sesha Desh for the valuable session.
Thank you so and much. And we are planning to organize these kind of sessions much more moving forward. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank Have you. a great day. Have a wonderful weekend, sir. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so everyone. Thank you, Thanks, everyone. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Wow. Well,